Sketch one period of the graph of the function y equals minus 4 sine of 3x minus pi. Then find the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift. First, I want to sketch sine of x. So here's sine of x. How do we get that? Well, remember, sine is going to be the y value of your angle on the unit circle. So let's run through the important angles. Okay, if we start with zero, the y value is going to be zero. So we're going to have a zero there. At pi halves, we're going to have y equals one, since we're at the top of the circle. So I'll have a one there. Then moving to pi, we're back down on the x-axis. So y is zero. So sine comes back down to zero here. Go to 3 pi halves, we're at the bottom of the circle, so the y values of minus 1, so sine is minus 1. Then we get back to 0 as 2 pi, so that's going to have again y value equal to 0. So we connect the dots, that gives us our graph of sine. Okay, the next step, we just went through all the very good values for sine, so we're going to consider sine of box. So box is just going to be all of our good values for sine, so 0, pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, 2 pi. Put them in the middle. Then we're just going to take, okay, we have box, we're going to have minus 4 sine of box. So we already know all the good values. Those are 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0. I'm going to multiply them by minus 4. So these are the values that come out. So those are going to be the only values that I need. The only catch is we're not putting box into our function to get the graph, we're putting x in. So I'm going to have to solve for x in terms of box. So let's take a look. The relation is going to be, what are we putting into sine? We're putting 3x minus pi into sine. So we're going to let that be equal to box, and then we're just going to solve for x. So for instance, if I take 3x minus pi, set it equal to 0, I push the pi over, I divide by 3. That means x is going to be pi thirds. Similarly, 3x minus pi, I let it be equal to pi halves. I move the pi over, I get 3 pi halves, divide by 3, I get pi halves back. So same thing by coincidence. Okay, for instance here, I take pi, 3x minus pi equals pi, I push the pi over, we get 2 pi, divide by 3, I get 2 pi thirds. So that's going to be the next one. So you know you do this for each of them. And now I have the values that I want going with the x that I want. So you could check this. For instance, if I put pi thirds into our original equation, what's going to happen? I'm going to have minus 4 sine 3 times pi thirds gives me pi. Subtract off pi, we have sine of 0. 0 comes out. Okay, And then that matches with the answer. You could check that for each of those, and it's going to work. Okay, now all I have to do is plot our x versus our values. So for pi thirds, 2 pi thirds, and pi, we're going to have a 0 coming out. So that's going to give me these three points here. Then we'll note pi halves is going to go to a minus 4. So it's going to be down here. 5 pi six goes to 4. So that's up there. Then all I need to do is connect the dots. So that's going to be one period of our function. Okay, note it comes back to where it started, and then it's going to start going down and like that again. How about the second part of the problem? So I want amplitude, period, and phase shift. To get that, I need to rewrite my function. So I want it in the form y equals a sine of k times x minus c in parentheses. So when I rewrite that, what do we have? Okay, a is going to be minus 4. And then we have sine of, we're just going to factor a 3 out. So I have 3 times x minus pi thirds. Then how do I get our three items? The amplitude is just the absolute value of a. So just throw away the minus sign. It's going to give us a 4. For the period, we take 2 pi, divide by k. So we're going to divide by 3. So we get 2 pi thirds. OK, note here, I didn't have to actually use a formula. I could have just looked at the graph. The period is going to be pi minus pi thirds gives me 2 pi thirds. So that checks my work. Then for the phase shift, okay, that's just going to be the C. That's going to be pi thirds. Okay, to get that, we could just note how did our period jump from its original spot. It's just going to move over by pi thirds. 